It's time to look and feel good from your head to your open-toed stilettos. What do cutting calories and wearing that low-cut dress have in common when it comes to your mind and metabolism? Get ready to find out. Welcome to Ladies. It's not our fault. It's our hormones and high heels where wellness meets fashion. I'm Julie Sagoskin, fashion and lifestyle editor, here to address your dressing do's and don'ts. Hi, this is Lisa Avellino, fitness director at theskinnyline.com, working out with you step by step to shake it off the smart way. I'm Jackie Justice, functional nutritionist and nutrition director at theskinnyline.com, here to help you achieve all your wellness and weight loss goals. Now, let's get on with the show. Happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome to Ladies. It's not our fault. It's our hormones and high heels. I'm Julie Sagoskin here with the amazing Lisa Avellino, and our co-host Jackie Justice is out for her first tour of the new year, celebrating and informing our listening audience and others around the country about the skinny line. And after getting into 2021, I'm sure we could all use a 30-day diet and some great skinny line products. So we can't wait to tell you about bit more about what we have in store. I also want to let you guys know we have a very, very special guest. Carson Cressley will be joining us live from Zoom. As you guys know, he really came into the spotlight starring in Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, so we cannot wait to hear his tips. Lisa, he can really redecorate any room and any person with his style. He's just amazing. He's really one of those go-tos. He's someone I look up to and why I really wanted to get into the fashion world growing up and watching him, so we could not be more excited for that. And we have seen some interesting fashion trends already in this short start we've had to 2021. I think we're kind of getting out a little bit of the sweatpants look. Look, don't worry, that will still be in. We can still be cute and cozy. But I think it really started off with a bang, seeing some of our favorite stars like J-Lo walking around in a great over-the-top Valentino white feathered frock. And we even saw Anne Hathaway out and about. And I think the stars are going to set the tone a little bit for the rest of us to want to get out there and strut our stuff as much as we can. And let's hope it's a good year. We have a lot to look forward to. And Lisa... How have you been? What fashion and style and wellness, <laughs> fitness tips can we do? Well, happy 2021. Lucky 21. What's so amazing about everything you just said, we want to thank our celebrities because just like Coco Chanel and all the great pioneers that led the way, they offer a spark of inspiration for all of us. Because of our special guest today, I made my bed with the shams, I moved the pictures around, and I really thought I wanted to bring that energy into the day, and that's what it's about. And especially right now, people are looking for ways to stay motivated in spite of COVID. And as we transition with the vaccine and all the changes in the first quarter of 21, we want to really support each other because some days are easier than others. And you never know when you're going to need that push from a friend. So the first thing I want to inspire everyone today is to be that style expert. It's okay. You can be the fitness expert, even though you may not have the degree or the certification embrace it and get excited about it because sharing it with a friend may just be the spark that he or she needs. So that's our first tip of the day. I absolutely love that because I think we all have it in us to bring out the best of us. And while we can always use a little tweak or some help, whether it's from the skinny line or when I call Lisa, when I'm jumping up, (laughs) dancing around, how to improve my routine a little bit or drinking some water, remembering uh, Jackie's mantra in my head, shower on the inside. I think we don't always give ourselves enough credit. I think that's a big resolution we can all have because I think we can work on ourselves, even in small ways. I think if we come up with a huge ideal that we want to fulfill, it will get overwhelmed. I know this happens with me. I always want to do a million things a day, and that's not realistic. There's some times and some things that it's better to focus on smaller things and take baby steps, especially with style, with fitness. You can start small, take something out of your closet, make it pop. It's time this year to put your best fashion face forward, and this is really something everyone can do. This is not just something for celebrities and millionaires. We can all work on getting a look. I love that, Julie. So rather than just say, today I'm going to clean my closet, maybe just organize the shoes or organize the belts by color or size or 
if you've been on the skinny line and you already lost 10 pounds, instead of just keeping that size in the closet, maybe you can offer it to a friend or donate it, pay it forward, or go on one of those recycling resale shops for extra money. You can buy a pair of free weights. My sister Pamela, who is also an amazing master trainer, said that it's about time that we invest a little money in that home gym. And sometimes people think that in order to have a home gym, they need a treadmill or some fancy equipment. But that's not true. Just allocating a little space, even if, if you don't have a mat, use a blanket or a blow-up mattress and a couple of towels, there's your mat. If you don't have free weights, you can use two bottles of water. See, I have a bottle right here. And each one is 16.9 ounces. And it may only be one pound, a little over a pound, but you'd be surprised you lift it 100, pa- 100 times and there's 100 pounds. So, or just buy um, a free weight or a band for $10 and it's a great way to get started. And so with the closet and style, maybe just organize the blouses or how, how do you organize your closet, Jackie? Jackie, Julie, and Jackie. Yes, well, all of us, I think, uh, can always use some style cleaning. I like to say spring cleaning even now in January with the new year. It's the best time, really, because I think we're a little more motivated to get things done. And absolutely, color coordination is huge, especially when you find something. If you're in a rush, if you're getting back from the office, you want to dress up, even if it's for a date night Zoom (laughs) meeting. It's not in person. Even if the office is in the other room. That's right. Even (laughs) going to the other room, you can change up your look. (laughs) Absolutely. So I think that's big, especially if you want to separate lights and darks. And then, of course, something fun. Really, I think the main thing, too, is look in your closet for things. I think you'll be surprised that there's probably something in there. Maybe you bought on an impulse or you thought you bought when you were a different size and then you never wear it. You don't bring it out. It's sitting and sitting there. So just see how you feel in it. And I'm sure that it's going to really add a little oomph to your high heeled step regardless of where you're going. So I think uh, definitely the pop is a big, big thing for all of us, especially this year. We'll want to feel more confident again with this vaccine. Hopefully we're back to normal, back traveling. I can't wait for the resort wear to come out. And this season with boots and sweater weather and furs and coats, even faux furs, we love faux furs here. It's really one of those Thank times. you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis Paso. We love you. Yes, Dennis <laughs> makes the best fur blankets. If you remember one of our favorite guests from faux teddy bears to adorable jackets, bomber jackets, puffer jackets. So all of that can also really make an outfit. Whether you have your sweatpants, your jeans, but you put on a cute jacket and a cute accessory, a hat, a beanie hats are super in with pom-poms. Uh-oh, I have to get one. I didn't get one. Oh, no, they're great. They really, they keep your ears warm and they look great. Okay. And it's something dress up, dress down. Wow. Julie, thank you for all these great tips. Um, One thing from the style side I find is that going to a tailor or just having something either shortened or lengthened can really make a difference when the fit is there and it looks custom. That's another fun thing. So if you have lost weight or inches and you want to get re-inspired, instead of giving it away another alternative is to have it tailored because then it feels new again no that's a terrific tip lisa it's so true because whether it is something that you've lost weight or that you want to change around i know i even have some things in my apartment from my grandmother when my mom's decluttering and it winds up in my apartment somehow and i say oh this is outdated but i go wait a minute i can shorten this i can tighten that you really give it a look and i think vintage is also going to be something fun to look out for this year i think oh okay so everyone has to check out their grandma's closet or their mom's closet okay so here's our tip of the day ask grandma or mom if you can check out their closet grab a piece and that reminds me of that when you're getting married something borrowed something blue you said blue is the new color something old something new so so what would you do a black pantsuit or black leggings with the pop jacket That's vintage. How do you wear vintage? Yeah, no, vintage is interesting. It's really fun because it's something that you can really, really make your own and it's different. I love different things. And so I really love vintage that has a lot of sequins or, yeah, feathers. And again, the celebrities have really been pulling out that pop uh, this year. And so I think when you find something like that, it's a lot of fun. 
it's interesting too, Lisa, because after the Great Depression and even the last plague, which unfortunately we're going through our own plague right now, that after that decade or those years of uh, hardship and I guess just being a little bit drab in your outerwear, that the Roaring Twenties was all the rage, literally. So I think going into this year and this we'll new decade. We'll see that cycle of when things get very dark and dismal or depressed. There's the excitement on the other side, the pullback to launch forward. So you're saying we'll have that version and we'll see that in style. I think we'll see that big time in style. Yes, I think we'll want to see people getting ready to party again when that's safe, of course. But they're going to want to start with their outfit. Your party can be in your closet. I think when we all get dressed up, even as little girls, it's something when we can feel like a princess when we're playing dress up. And I think we can do that now as well. But going back to vintage things, vintage jackets and vintage handbags, really, really cute. As an accessory, again, that really adds to your outfit, a major statement piece. And let me tell you, they don't make them like that anymore. No, the vintage purses have the cute little matching um, color hot pink interior, or they remember they would come with a little purse. My mom has one that, now she didn't smoke, but it actually came with a little gold case and all these little things that match, which is so exciting. I remember Julia Roberts, I think several years ago, had a vintage dress. She was one of the first ones to sport it. Wow, AM 97, the answer. We have an exciting show coming up, so we'll be right back after this message. Did you ever wish for a genie in a bottle that could melt the fat away? Did you ever wish for a product that could melt the fat even while you're sleeping? Did you ever wish for a magic cream that could literally accelerate your body's natural ability to convert stored fat into supercharged energy? Well, you're not alone. Millions of women have wished for this for decades, and it's finally here. Created by women for women and the best medical team in the world, it's the first of its kind, a pharmaceutical-grade 30-day weight loss plan that includes everything you need, meals, the boost, cream, and the super secret, the Skinny Line Spritz. Join the Skinny Line Fempreneurs and become a Skinny Line weight loss success storyline just like the thousands before you. Just call 1-844-SKINNY-4 or go to theskinnyline.com to order today and tune in here every Saturday morning at 9 to learn about how celebrities and your personal team of nutrition, fitness, and style experts will guide you every step of the way in your new Skinny Line lifestyle. Your skinny wish is our command, so don't wait. Your 30-day weight loss plan is on its way. Hey, curly girls. If you're looking to maintain your marvelous curly, coily, or wavy mane, Miss Jessie's has homemade hair products made just for you. Sisters Miko and TT created their miracle hair products from scratch at their kitchen table in the early 2000s so that everyone could have lustrous looking locks. Their award winning products include Pillow Soft Curls, Jelly Soft Curls, and Multicultural Curls are must haves for curly girls everywhere. Stock up on Miss Jessie's at Target, Walmart, Walmart, Walgreens, and CVS, or at MissJessies.com. That's Miss J E S S I E S.com. MissJessies.com. Welcome back to Ladies, it's not our fault. It's our hormones and high heels. Welcome back to Ladies. It's not our fault. It's our hormones and high heels. I'm Julie Sagoskin here again with my amazing co-host Lisa Avellino and Jackie Just is still out there giving everyone the skinny scoop on the skinny line. We can't wait till she's back and tell us all about her adventures. And we can't wait coming up again. Carson Cressley, you will not want to miss this. We will hear what he's been up to this past pandemic year and what he's looking forward to and exciting projects this year. Lisa and I were just giving you our inside tips on some style and fitness things we can do. So like we were saying, just start small, add some pop, Use your water bottles, right, Lisa? Yes. Pump up your muscles. Yes, absolutely. And the other thing is, let's just talk about some of the great tips that we received from our listeners. We love you and thank you for listening. And we read every email and every post. So thank you so much for being part of the show. We really love it. But a great question that I received was, Lisa, how do you stay motivated when you feel overwhelmed with this past year. And one of the suggestions I have is to create your own sort of sizzle reel. 
your own little, imagine a movie trailer. So rather than just a vision board that's just with static pictures or photos, which is great too, and motivational words, maybe take it a step further because taking mindfulness to the next level is also about breaking rules and creating your own using your creative imagination. So in terms of the fitness application, if you want to take up a new sport or you play golf or you'll be traveling again, you'll be going on a European tour eventually or taking a biking tour, climbing mountains or hiking, or maybe your thing is tennis or, or maybe it's the gym or wearing that smaller size or better posture, better energy. Close your eyes and visualize it. I mean, why do top blue chip companies, Julie, advertise if we know they already exist? Because out of sight, out of mind. So create that visual 3D vision board and practice it because it's just like any other muscle, right? Absolutely. I really hope that we can all have a big vision this year. I think we all deserve a great, great 2021. It better be a winner. Yes. We can at least try to make it that much, as much as possible, and just really staying upbeat and positive that also really adds to our overall well-being uh we always say when it comes to fit or when it fitness style it's about how you feel and how personalized you can make that so once you have that bit of confidence in yourself to feel great i can wear something new i can try something that i haven't done before always heels are always a go and you can try his fitness routine. You can try eating something healthy. Again, it's something small. We're snacking and working and styling our way up in the world. And I think that that's going to be major. It's a lot of things also in our head. Even last week's show, speaking with Jordan Emanuel, of course, the incredible 2019 Playboy Playmate of the Year. She wears very high heels. She does. Time out, five-inch heels. But remember, Devora said she only wears kitty heels. Or uh, Joan London said she wears wears very small like loafers but when we say high heels we do not just mean literally high heels we mean posture we mean confidence we mean empowerment and practice and getting excited about your personal passions because high heels means straight and forward and excited and confident really confidence and beauty really resonates from the inside out so when we say put your high heels on they may not they might be literal heels because you look absolutely gorgeous and taller a little well leave it to your imagination but you get the point yeah i could definitely use taller but <laughs> absolutely literatively literally and figuratively but that's so true it's really building your way up and wearing heels we know that that makes you feel better but if you mentally think to yourself even if you're wearing flats or sneakers or your slippers at home it can make a big big difference i also know i have to work on my posture, my <laughs> Lisa Angel in my ear. Yes, the devil says no slouch, but I remember Lisa's there watching me somewhere. But it, again, posture too, it makes you, you're standing up straight, you're showing off that you have power, at least in yourself, that you feel good. It's a major thing. So again, so many things that we can do and we all deserve to I'm look and feel great. I'm glad you brought up posture because here's another great tip. What you want to do is lift right under the sternum, but keep the shoulders anchored down. Okay, everyone out there, all the listeners, let's do it together. So engage your core, lift the rib cage, and anchor the shoulders down. So the first tip is when you get in your car, put your rear view mirror, set it, when you're sitting up straight because i assure you the next time you're in a rush and you jump in your car you might just go like oh i have to adjust it don't do that this is the sneaky little secret rise to the occasion because then you're continuing the workout second for posture engage your core bring your shoulder blades together so you can imagine a little pencil between your shoulder blades and that's a great way to really open up the chest. Another thing that's so important is scoliosis, kyphosis, curvature of the spine. All of those issues really are exacerbated, especially if you have a hereditary disposition or underlying issues, even our teenagers today. So by flexing and really strengthening the back, supporting the rotator muf mus muscles, what really that will help do is not only stand straighter, but you're not compressing, you're not getting that compression in the internal organs. If the midsection is compressed, we're more likely to release cortisol and to just have that 
those have imbalances in the naturally occurring hormones. So we want to pay attention to that. But also, it's New Year's resolution. Of course, we want everyone to go on to theskinnyline.com. T-H-E-S-K-I-N-N-Y. And if you put in skinny line, L-I-N-E, skinny 10, you get 10% off, which is a great way to detox and sort of the little extra helping hands to get started. But also this year in fitness, a buddy system. It's been around for decades, but now's the time more than ever before to hit two parts of your wellness wheel, right? The community, right? We call it, that's part of the wellness wheel, social wellness, but as well as fitness. So accountability, a tracker, but get together with a friend. And there's so many exciting new apps. And I believe people will be returning to fitness centers this year, but the home market and the home technology will continue strong. Okay, we have so excited. We have the most amazing guests coming up. Julie, drum roll. Yes, Carson Cressley will be with us soon. We can't wait to see him. He will be live with us here. Woo, so excited. We cannot wait. Did you ever wish for a genie in a bottle that could melt the fat away? Did you ever wish for a product that could melt the fat even while you're sleeping? Did you ever wish for a magic cream that could literally accelerate your body's natural ability to convert stored fat into supercharged energy? Well, you're not alone. Millions of women have wished for this for decades, and it's finally here. Created by women for women and the best medical team in the world, it's the first of its kind, a pharmaceutical-grade 30-day weight loss plan that includes everything you need, meals, the boost, cream, and the super secret, the Skinny Line Spritz. Join the Skinny Line Fempreneurs and become a Skinny Line weight loss success storyline just like the thousands before you. Just call 1-844-SKINNY-4 or go to theskinnyline.com to order today and tune in here every Saturday morning at 9 to learn about how celebrities and your personal team of nutrition, fitness, and style experts will guide you every step of the way in your new Skinny Line lifestyle. Your skinny wish is our command, so don't wait. Your 30-day weight loss plan is on its way. Known as New York's leading lifestyle and luxury publication, Resident Magazine has been bringing the best of fashion, travel, dining, real estate, celebrity news, and more to the Big Apple for over three decades. With award-winning content and photography, including exclusive interviews and cutting-edge fashion spreads, as well as celebrity covers, Resident has been featured in media outlets across the country. From Manhattan to the Hamptons, Resident Magazine continues to bring you the latest trends and inside style scoop. Catch up on the latest health and wellness stories or learn how the travel industry is adapting to these unprecedented times. Pick up your copy of Resident today or subscribe at ResidentPublications.com. That's ResidentPublications.com and read about what all the New York residents are raving about. ResidentPublications.com. We're back with Ladies, it's not our fault. It's our hormones and high heels. Welcome back to Ladies. It's not our fault. It's our hormones and high heels. I'm Julie Sagaskin here again with my amazing co-host, Lisa Avellino. And Jackie Justice is out on our Skinny Line tour. She'll be back soon. And right now, get ready for our most amazing, exciting guest of the brand new year. Carson Cressley is with us live. Woo! Carson, yes. Love you, we love you, we love you. Three, I love yous from all of us and all of our listeners. You're the best. Thank you, Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. Well, first of all, I absolutely am loving your camouflage sweater there. I think that's going to be one of my favorite things going into 2021. It's always a classic. It's fun. You can mix and match when you always look great, Carson. What are we want your style tips for us? We know you're so great at everything. You've been all over your last episode of RuPaul's Drag Race already in the 13th season. Congratulations. The most ever watched episode in the franchise. We all love you from your time on Queer Eye. You're a big role model for me and why I wanted to get into style. And we just love keeping up with your career, uh, keeping up with Carson every Everyone. Forget the Kardashians. It's all about you, and we can't wait to hear what you've been up to lately. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, that's such a glowing intro. I really appreciate it. Well, 
Yeah, we're really excited that um, we're in our 13th season of Drag Race. It is, um, uh, I've been a part of the show for seven years and it's always, I've always been a fan of the show and it's always kind of been the little show that could and the show is pretty much the same, but we um, are reaching just a wider audience and people are experiencing the joy of the artistry of drag. Um, they're experiencing, you know, the heart of these amazing contestants who don't always come from the best of um, circumstances. Sometimes it's really been challenging for them. So I think people just have been really responding to all the heart that the show has in celebrating people who maybe for a long time were not celebrated. Well, that's so great. And we love watching the show. And I think especially when it comes to style and fashion, for sure, you know what you're doing when you style people, when you style homes. But when you bring in this other element with the drag, it's always so fun. And I think we can all really get into that spirit of being uplifting. So have there been any new trends that you really wanted to pull out this season with everything that we've been through this last year? Well, I think, you know, we've all grown to, um, uh, you know, learn to work from home. And, you know, it seems like only six months ago we were watching Tiger King and not wearing pants. But <laughs> I think as we, you know, hopefully conquer this pandemic and the vaccine is offering such great hope, I hope that people um, have used the pandemic. I mean, I know I certainly did as a way to really prioritize things that are important to me and things that I missed. And I miss dressing up. I just um, was in a studio today doing a talk show with social distancing and testing and all that. And it was so nice to get dressed up and wear a suit. And um, I just think, uh, you know, I hope people after this break of all being in sweatpants for a year, I hope people come back with a new appreciation and a new, um, excitement for fashion because I am you know the number one rule in my book is you know how you dress affects how you feel and uh, I think if you dress well you feel well so um, that's always been my mantra oh thank you that is so true that's what the show this show is really about and was inspired by where wellness meets fashion and how true beauty radiates from the inside out but whether it's your confidence or experimenting and wearing something new and getting dressed up it is absolutely a fact that the chemistry endorphins all of those positive happy mood chemicals are kicked off about how we feel. So we need some inspiration. What tips do you have for feeling good when you put that suit on or or that drag outfit on or yeah. experimenting or uh, whatever you're doing? What is it? What do we do? Uh, I think it's, you know, I think fashion is great medicine and I think that it definitely for sure physically affects the way you feel. I think, you know, RuPaul always says like if you want to if you uh, wear a suit, you feel powerful and confident. I think that's great for guys. I think, you know, for ladies, sometimes it's a great pair of heels or maybe it's um, sexy underwear. Whatever it is Ooh. for you that makes you feel confident, that makes you feel beautiful, that makes you feel like yourself, um, those are the things you should embrace. And um, I think color is hugely important. Um, I had just posted a great quote that I discovered yesterday from the artist Wasley Kandinsky. And it was something like, you know, color has a direct effect on one's soul. And I really feel like color um, changes your mood. If you have a favorite color, um, mine is aqua. Yours might be coral. Whatever it is, you can live in that color. You can wear that color. And I just really think that it has a huge effect on our psyche. So never underestimate the power of color. Um, a lot of stylists will say, you know, oh, if you're looking to look, you know, taller and leaner, you know, you know, wear black. Black is pretty boring. I, I know it's chic and it's a great wardrobe and it's a staple for many, but you know, it's a new year and a new you hopefully, and we're gonna go into this hopefully much better time. Experiment with some color and you can still look tall and lean if you just do like monochromatic color head to toe, but it, it could be winter white, it could be uh, emerald green, it could be fuchsia. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, basic black. So, Ooh, so I would then... say, you know, have fun with color, try new things. I think all of us, um, you know, have been so sequestered at home for so long and so bored that, um, try something new, give it a whirl. 
uh, retail stores. I'm a, I consider myself a retail enthusiast, which means I like to go into stores and shop. And I know it's been challenging and stores are doing everything they can to keep shoppers safe. Um, but get out there and support your local stores, especially your, you know, small stores. Um, and I know a lot of us are watching our spending because we're either not working or it's been a very difficult year financially. Check out some of the thrift stores, some of the resale stores. They have some fantastic things. And somebody's, you know, you know, one man's junk is another man's treasure is my mantra. And I found some great things on retail websites like The Real Real, which have secondhand uh, designer gear. Um, every town has a great resale shop. Sometimes it benefits a charity. Those are great places. And I think we probably all have a little more time on our hands. And um, if you feel safe going out there, I say support your local stores, your thrift stores, your resale. And um, you can still reinvent yourself and have fun without spending a lot of money. Wow, these are amazing tips. They're so good. I'm going to try from head to toe. What you hit on was very important about color. Yellow is one of the happiest colors, but I think what you said is also choose your favorite color because if you connect with that and it inspires you, you're happier, you're giving off joy. It's like looking at a mannequin if they were just sort of looking depressed with bad posture. You wouldn't get excited about it, but when you enter right. the room and you have this great feeling inside, it changes your endorphins and we just come to life. So I'm going to try a monochromatic look in maybe a fuchsia with a pop of yellow. I love your yeah. tips. Thank you. Of course. Of course. And, it, it, you know, it goes for your home, too. And um, I was shopping with, I think somebody uh, had saw, saw a story that I did on my home on Instagram. And they said, God, it's so eclectic. How do you make it all work? And I say, you know what? I just buy things that I love. And when you buy stuff that you love and it's great quality, it's just gonna work. And of course you can unify your home with maybe a neutral background or a consistent color theme, but I've never really like designed my home or my apartment here in the city. I just, you know, buy things I love and I, I fool around with them and I move things around and uh, they just work because I love them. And that same goes for your wardrobe. I love this. Is there like a, a three second rule or five second rule? Like sometimes people have buyer's remorse. Like how do they connect with that style happy? Like how do you know? I know that sounds a little strange, but when you're oh. buying something, how do you know? Do you like stare at it? Do you get like a patter in your heart, butterflies? Like what gets you excited to yeah. make that? I mean, I, I, I get like an actual like physical reaction where I get, you know, the butterflies or my heart races and I just think it's, you know, beautiful or wonderful. I just know immediately and not everybody has that eye, I guess. Um, yes, we know you're the most talented. Yes, we would just like a little bit of it, but you're cool because you're sharing it. It's my of course. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, also don't be afraid to, um, you know, not everybody's good at style. I'm terrible at math. I, I haven't balanced my checkbook since 91. So we all have our strengths and weaknesses. And if you, Here's another tip for the new year. Um, if you want, you know, and it, you feel safe and you have a, a friend that you can maybe Skype with, you can do a closet Skype. And sometimes you need someone who has a discerning eye and you can, you know, ask a friend, phone a friend and say, you know, I'm doing my closet clean out. Is this a stay or is this a go? And your most fashionable Should I friend, stay or okay. should I go now? Right. That's yeah. how you know who a true friend is. <laughs> I love is. this tip. This is a great tip. Yeah, get, you know, sometimes you need um, somebody who has great advice. Sometimes there's maybe a person that works um, at your favorite store. I know Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's and a lot of the larger department stores have great personal shoppers and they are happy to help you. They're, you know, really hungry for business right now and they would love to um, show you things virtually and give you advice and direction on what things you should be embracing. And, and I know you talked about trends I'm not even really a trend guy. I love new things. I love to go to Zara and H&M and see what, what are the kind of cheap thrills and the new things that you can supplement your wardrobe. But I like to build a wardrobe around classics and then add fun accessories, scarves, jewelry, bags um, as kind of the salt and pepper to your meat and potatoes and jazz up your wardrobe seasonally that way. So it's much less inexpensive. It's much less expensive that way. Right. And you know, your jeans, your white blouses, your little black dresses, those are things you should have for several seasons. 
and you can invest in and have fun with the accessories, which are less expensive, hopefully. You are so amazing. You are just a happy pill. Happiness in Thank style. You. you really are. Everyone loves you. And I don't know because if you know how important you are, especially to women, I, I own women's gyms and you are the the number one go to voice and we are oh just gosh, no I, no it's just that you you're just out there and maybe you don't connect with them physically but I'm being totally honest with you you ha your fan base is beyond your followers and and all of that and people just have loved you for so many years and you just keep reinventing but I want to know how they can reach you because we have so many new listeners on that want to know oh, how yeah. they can get your tips and what you do like give us those numbers yeah and letters. Um, uh, you can always find me at Carson Kressley, K-R-E-S-S-L-E-Y on all social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, uh, I love Instagram because I, I love visual medium and I'm a visual person. So that's, you know, you can always DM me on there. I have what I think is a really helpful guide. Um, and it's great to kind of pick up in the new year. It's a book that I wrote. It's a women's style guide. It's called, Does This Book Make My Butt Look Big? Oh, and it's a cheeky hysterical. look at finding your um, sexiest self and your most confident self and how you can achieve that through how you dress. And we talk about everything in the book from foundation garments, which are literally going to affect how everything else works in your wardrobe, to the power of color, to how to navigate your favorite websites, how to find a deal at an outlet mall, how to uh, work a thrift store or a resale shop. Um, and then a lot of information from some of my style icons, people like RuPaul or um, some of the Real Housewives, um, just people that we admire. And um, uh, it's a really fun book and it's got, a, it's got a sense of humor because getting dressed should be fun and liberating. It shouldn't be daunting and it shouldn't make you feel bad. Well, everyone will definitely want to check out your book. My dream is to go shopping with you one day, Carson. That would be my ultimate Oscar-winning moment because I think we'd find award-winning things because every single tip that you touched on is absolutely correct from the monochromatic. We see J-Lo wearing a lot of greens and the matching sweatpants, and she just always right. looks great. She pulls that off. She's also on the short side like myself. Again, we can still put heels with our sweatpants, but a great tip, and I love what you said about color. I actually saw the other day on your Instagram, you were wearing one of my favorite colors, that aqua kind of turquoise blue. So you really, right. you could see you felt so comfortable in that. And then I just have to tell you, because I absolutely love your painting behind you. We're both equestrian oh. fanatics. And I know you're really into riding and saddlebreds. And I want to hear more just for myself, because I read a great article you did with Sidelines Magazine, and that was actually my first foray into journalism and editing, because when I was still in high school, I was competing and breeding horses, and I w had my own column called Junior Perspective, so I feel it all <laughs> comes full circle. So wow. from one horse lover to the other, you know, it's in our blood. Absolutely. Yeah, it's such a, um, it's really, you know, I love design, I love fashion, I love interior design, but my real passion are horses. And like you, I was so lucky uh, to grow up around horses. I came from a family that um, uh, was in the horse business since like the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And um, I just love it. It was a great way to grow up. Um, we didn't live on a farm, but we had, you know, lots of horses in our backyard. And um you know, traveling, uh, people always say, you know, like, how did you become so confident? And I attribute a lot of it to showing horses because I would be, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old, and I would be traveling and meeting all kinds of people from, you know, local people to titans of industry. And uh, it really made me comfortable talking to just about everybody. And, um, and horses are just such great therapy. Um, you know, we're all stressed. We've all got so much going on. Uh, put a pandemic on top of it, and um, the horses are a great escape because you can really only think about one thing, which is like not dying and staying on their back <laughs> and, and having a great experience and making the experience great for them. So you really get to zen out in that singular kind of mindset way, and I love it. And they're beautiful, and they're kind, and they're expressive, and they're intuitive, 
and they're just um, my favorite thing in the world. Absolutely. They're also athletic. Did you know that Time Magazine voted and um, celebrated Secretariat as the number one athlete for the millennium? And wow. I, uh, yes, and, and I was so taken back by that because, of course, he won the Triple Crown and really mm-hmm. showed all categories. And when we speak about wellness and fashion, there's many aspects to it. It's not just fitness and looking great, but it's mindfulness right. and zen and everything that you said. And so I'm on the fitness side anchor here, and I want to ask you, can you please share your fitness regimen or what you do to stay in shape? You have amazing posture. You are in proportion. I'm saying from a professional background, you are at the top of health and wellness, what you exude. So can you please share your fitness wellness regimen? Oh, gosh, it's it's embarrassing because I barely do anything. Oh, I'm, no, I guess I'm, no, no, I no. Guess Tune that out. You didn't like hear me. that, everyone. <laughs> oh, natural. He's so I'm, lucky. I'm, I'm, I think I have good jeans, but I also live in yes, New York. Yes, you look great in your time. jeans. Yes, you look great in your jeans. Um, and I think <laughs> yeah. living in New York, like I walk a lot. And I was just listening to a report where they said, as long as you like move consistently for 11 minutes a day, um, you're going to be just fine. It's going to add years to your life. I just do that like living in the city. Like I walk downstairs. I walk to the grocery store. I walk to Bloomingdale's. I'm constantly walking. And even when I'm at the farm, you know, I'm cleaning, mucking out stalls in the morning. I do about seven or eight of them. It's a great workout. So I'm a big fan of working out and not knowing you're working out. So when I did Dancing with the Stars, that was a great workout, but I kind of didn't feel like I was exercising. I was so busy dancing and having fun. So I always tell people, like, do whatever it is that brings you joy and kind of you don't think you're working out. And it could be power walking, it could be swimming, it could be um, riding horses, whatever it is that, you know, makes you happy and keeps you moving. um, That's what you should do. And I don't really do anything other than that. Um, And I try to eat well, but I am naughty. Oftentimes, I do drink a lot of water. And my go to beauty secret for everybody, guys, girls, everybody is vitamin C. I use vitamin C products on my face. I drink vitamin C and do the packets of vitamin C. Um, I just think vitamin C is a really, really great thing to um, uh, make sure that you're supplementing your diet with. Wonderful. So you're layering with vitamin C. You're not just taking it, ingesting it. You're putting it on your face. You're eating it. You're ingesting it. You probably have an orange aromatherapy misting machine or something. It sounds like you're layering in it. I don't, but I should get that. That sounds <laughs> oh, amazing. So... I love all things citrus. So, yes, I'm down. Okay. Well, that also will make you feel awake and excited. Okay. I have one super stylist question. Is there something that people would be surprised about, about you getting dressed or putting a an exciting look together? Like, what inspires you that might in- surprise us? Oh, gosh. I mean, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, Uh, I think people would be surprised that I don't take it that seriously. I realize that getting dressed in the morning should be fun, but we're also not like, you know, curing like, you know, some life-threatening disease here. We're just dressing our bodies. So I'm pretty casual about it. Like I did a a national talk show today and I was like, oh, I better get something to wear for that. And literally last night, like at six o'clock, I breezed through Macy's Herald Square and I just picked something up, but I'm very, I'm a very good shopper. Um, so I, I like the excitement of kind of leaving it to the last minute. And it's the same way in the morning. Like I, I don't plan outfits and lay things out. I am just like, um, I just, I'm going to feel like this today. And I really let the mood strike me. However, I'm the total opposite when I travel and when we could travel, I don't like to pack a lot. So I just bring the bare me- minimum. And uh, I have a very regimented list of like, I'm gonna wear this, this day, this, this day, this, this day. And if it's for three days, I bring three outfits and that's it. This is an awesome tip. Wow, I just wrote that down. I'm going to, I'm no longer bringing multiple suitcases organized. But what you also said, which is why you really, you are the talent, you're an artist. There's a difference between an expert and an artist. Like if you think of, 
uh, Jackson Pollock when he was forcing his craft and mm-hmm. he was hired. And then all of a sudden, when he started having fun and just expressing himself, that was his greatest work. And you're right. so awesome how you're just tapped into it. It's au naturel. So that totally surprises me. See, I thought there was some formatted method, but really you just no. let it go wild. Yeah, I just, gra- again, I just gravitate to what I like. And as you get older, I think, um, I was looking at pictures from like the 90s when I moved to New York and my style was all over the place. And one day I was, you know, like an, a soldier and one day I was like a club kid and one day I was like a preppy Nantucket, like uh, prepster. Um, now I just, I, I have more narrow taste, but it's very, very consistent. And I think as we get older, we know what looks good on our bodies. We know what colors work for us. We know what we like. And we kind of stick to almost more of a wardrobe. So it does make things easier, I think. And Carson, like I said before, I love your cameo. And I think one way we can stand out and feel individual with our style is different prints. And whether that's rhinestones or being bold with patterns. Do you Mm -hmm. yourself, how do you feel mixing different patterns? I know you like to be eclectic in your home. Do you feel that way as well in your fashion? Does it kind of give you an extra bit of groove in your step? Yeah, I lo- I like to mix patterns and people will be like, you can't wear like a plaid jacket with plaid pants. Um, and I'm like, of course I can. They just have to be kind of the same color story. And one of the prints has to be bold, maybe the jacket or the sweater. And one of the prints has to be finer. Maybe it's a small houndstooth pant. But I think mixing patterns like that um, has flair and style and shows expertise and when you see brands like uh, Etro, for example, an Italian uh, company, they're all about prints and patterns and uh, beautiful weaves. They do it all the time and they unify it with a similar color story. So, um, you know, I'm also out there a lot too. So I get a lot of inspiration from stores and retail displays, runway shows, magazines. So I- I'm definitely about mixing it up and things don't have to be perfect. I think that's the other thing. Um, you don't have to be perfect to be beautiful. You don't have to be perfect to be well-dressed. Things don't have to match exactly. And I got great training in that. Even when I worked for Ralph Lauren, um, we like things to look a little bit worn, worn in and soft and broken in and have some rusticity. And we also mixed a lot of different patterns. And um, I think that gives it your own personal stamp. So I think it's a good thing to do. Okay, you heard it from the top. You've heard it from the best. We love you. We are so excited. Where are we going to see you next? You can see me um, almost every Friday night at 8 o'clock on VH1 on season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. And you could also see me this winter on the Food Network, uh, Worst Cooks in America, Dirty no, Dishes No edition. way. I love that show. Oh, and, who's um, hosting yeah, this year? Spin-off. Who's hosting? Is it Anne? Who's hosting? This? Um, Anne Burrell is one of the um, one of the mentors, and then Sonia Morgan and I, and Alec Mappa, and a couple other alumni from that show are kind of um, are doing funny critiques of the current season. So it's every every Sunday night at ten thirty on Food Network, and of course you can always find me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And uh, who knows where? You can see me on Life with Kelly on Friday, January 8th. And uh, I think that's it for now. Wow. So we also want to know when you're on the show what you will be wearing, what you will be sporting under the apron. So make sure your audience gets to see it because you are an inspiration of joy. And I think that is the catalyst. That's the greatest thing for 2021 is that you inspire someone else through your dress, your posture, your smile and all your talent. Thank you so much for being a guest on our show we love you please come back again yes carson we would love to have you back 2021 you really have inspired us this past year especially like i said i love following you on social media keeping up with your career all this time you're just so fun and always super positive and i think we can all use that energy and we definitely can't wait to see what you will be up to wearing there's nothing and no one you cannot style that is for sure so we're really looking up to keeping up with you and thank you so much for being with us 
Thank you. It's my pleasure. Stay fabulous, everybody. We love you. Have a happy, Woo! healthy, Bye. safe new year. Bye. Thank you. You Woo-hoo! too. Bye. Bye. Did you ever wish for a genie in a bottle that could melt the fat away? Did you ever wish for a product that could melt the fat even while you're sleeping? Did you ever wish for a magic cream that could literally accelerate your body's natural ability to convert stored fat into supercharged energy? Well, you're not alone. Millions of women have wished for this for decades, and it's finally here. Created by women for women and the best medical team in the world, it's the first of its kind, a pharmaceutical-grade 30-day weight loss plan that includes everything you need. Meals, the boost, cream, and the super secret, the Skinny Line Spritz. Join the Skinny Line Fempreneurs and become a Skinny Line weight loss success storyline just like the thousands before you. Just call 1-844-SKINNY-4 or go to theskinnyline.com to order today and tune in here every Saturday morning at 9 to learn about how celebrities and your personal team of nutrition, fitness, and style experts will guide you every step of the way in your new Skinny Line lifestyle. Your skinny wish is our command. So don't wait. Your 30-day weight loss plan is on its way. We return now to Ladies, it's not our fault. It's our hormones and high heels. Welcome back to Ladies, it's not our fault. It's our hormones and high heels. I'm Julie Sagaskin here with Lisa Avellino, Jackie Justice out on tour. But how exciting was our special guest, Carson Cressley? Oh my gosh, Lisa, I think I have goosebumps. Carson looked amazing and his style tips spot on. I couldn't have said anything better. He really is right on the ball of absolutely everything. His new show, you guys will want to check it out. He is really, really fun. You can see how he is so down to earth and great, and he's really a people person. So make sure you catch RuPaul's Drag Race, his worst cooks in America on Food Network, although I think I would win that show. Kelly and Ryan, and I wish I was in Macy's last night, then perhaps he would have been in uh, aisle two in the scarf in the scarf aisle. Unfortunately, we missed him, but... He also shared about his health and wellness tips, about his love of citrus and vitamin C, and his workout involves a lot of walking, but also that he stays on his plan. And that just gets back to this is the time of year when it's okay to do something for yourself. So let's call it the self-love club. What do you think? I love it. This is the time to spoil yourself and treat yourself. And what we're so excited about is the skinny... The Skinny Line, T-H-E-S-K-I-N-N-Y. And if you put in The Skinny Line, L-I-N-E, The Skinny 10, you'll get 10% off. So now's a great time to just give yourself that little extra kick start. Sometimes that's all we need because when we feel lighter, we have more energy, better posture, we're glowing, and there you have it. So it's not just a healthy New Year's resolution, it's every day. Health from the Inside Out, where wellness meets fashion. Thank you again. This was a great show, Julie. Woo! Until next week, we have exciting guests ahead. That's right, Lisa. We have a lot of special things for you up in 2021. Here we come. Keep it skinny. We've got the scoop for you on all things wellness, fashion, and we can't wait to see you back here next weekend only on AM 970, The Answer. Thanks for tuning in. This program is sponsored by Balance 3H Plus Medical Weight Loss and Aesthetic Spa for Women.